There's a whole list of very basic things that people can do to optimise the look of their teeth and um, help the nice appearance, if you like, of their smile. It's so simple. It almost doesn't warrant explanation. It's brushing, flossing, using a mouthwash. And there are so many products out there which, unlike a few years ago, really do help to make a difference in what can be achieved at fairly low cost today. Let's start with toothbrushing. Everyone remembers toothbrush, but we really nowadays do endorse the use of uh, electric toothbrushes. They do so much more. There are several makes, there are some very expensive brushes, there are some very, very affordable ones on the market that also do an excellent job. What a lot of people forget is that part of a good looking smile is actually a healthy looking gum around the, the tooth or teeth or the smile and so on. And this is optimized with flossing or cleaning in between. Oral hygiene products, there's one last thing, lots of people use them, some people don't. Mouthwashes, I think is just a perfect uh, adjunct to brushing, flossing. It not only freshens mouths, but by virtue of its antibacterial, antiseptic, freshening activity, swished round, it just does get around everywhere. Tooth whitening really is very popular today. Everyone wants an optimised and a smile with white teeth. And what's nice about tooth whitening is that unlike um, expensive uh, cosmetic veneers, porcelain veneers and crowns, the effect is actually quite natural. It's your own teeth, but just with a lightened shade, just that really improves the uh, brightness and vitality of your smile. Being such a popular concept, there are of course millions of products out there, uh, all making claims for tooth whitening, some uh, more effective than, than others. Generally within the profession we do believe that those whitening products that come under the prescription uh, of a dentist will always be superior to that which you could buy over the counter. However, that is not to say that over the counter products don't work and people should uh, and can give them a try. So what I would advise is that you look for something that either claims to have a very gentle action or explains its function by an, a non-abrasive use altogether. Some people want to know when should they be replacing their toothbrush or their electric toothbrush head. I have a rule of thumb. The brush should look new and the bristles straight. The second they're becoming frayed, that's the time to replace your brush. When the bristles are bending in all directions or even a number of them are at the edges, you can be sure that the efficiency of your brush is not what it was when you first bought it. Well, prevention is always better than cure. So always, always remember to brush your teeth twice a day, at least two minutes a time, do it properly, floss, go to the dentist regularly, usually advised by your dentist anyway if you do go regularly. Some people need more input than others. And if you haven't been for a long time, we're always here to help and we can always put things back on track for you.